Now, after a BJP member of parliament from Karnataka, Mr. Munaswamy berated a woman for not wearing a bindi, the Congress has now given uh, this entire controversy a communal spin. Karthi Chidambaram of the Congress party has said that the BJP will turn India into a Hindutva Iran. So that's his uh, tweet that he put out some time back, basically saying that the Ayatollahs of the BJP, this is entirely his reference, will indulge in moral policing if given a free hand, and that they'll convert India into a Hindutva Iran. Let me, in fact, go across to my colleague Imran as well, who's joining us uh, with all the reactions that have come in from different quarters in response to Mr. Munaswamy's statement. And one of them, of course, that has now stirred another controversy, Imran, is Karthi Chidambaram's statement linking this entire matter to Hindutva, with many accusing him of trying to communalize the issue. Well, absolutely, Siddharth Karthi P. Chidambaram tweeted about it and said that uh, like the Ayatollahs in Iran, the BGP MP is behaving like that. And this is the face of Hindutva, especially after Vinisamy's uh, video went viral, wherein he berated a woman for not wearing a bindi and even went on to ask whether he husband is alive or not and if he's alive why you're not wearing a bindi and asks one of his uh, colleagues who's a, who's a street uh, who's a vendor to wear the bindi and to follow the cultural norms this video has gone now viral now as many are questioning uh, attacking the bgp over this saying that this is the another face of hindutva karthi p chidambaram a senior congress leader tweeted about it also saying that these are the ayatollahs like the ayatollahs in iran this is how the bjp mp is behaving like that and many such comments have come up on social media even from the women activists so slamming the, the, minister, uh, the member of parliament there for the manner in which he berated that woman and in full hmm. publicly you shamed her saying that you know since you have a husband why are you not wearing a biddi and to follow the cultural norms. Okay, let me take this across to Kritsween as well who is joining us with the uh, tweet that Karthi Chidambaram has put out that has now stirred another controversy following that extremely controversial remark made by Mr. Munaswamy of Kola. Yes, Kritsween, take us through what Karthi Chidambaram has said. It's very ironic indeed, uh, Siddharth, that uh, Mr. Muniswami made this comment on Women's Day. Very, very derogatory. Uh, you know, having asked a woman vendor as to why she's not caught, the BJP will turn India into a Hindutva Iran. Hindutva Iran. The Ayatollahs of the BJP will have their version of the moral police patrolling the streets. Now, something uh, which perhaps needed to be viewed uh, with the lens of misogyny, feminism, is now being linked to Hindutva, and that's what more shocking here because remember uh, the BJP has been taking on the Congress the past so many years with regards to how it is the Congress party that has come out with terms like Hindu terror and saffron terror and once again that obsession certainly reflecting in this tweet that has been put out by Karthi Chidambaram who says BJP will turn India into a Hindutva Iran. Though that comment must be condemned, it must be condemned that, that BJP MP must come out with an official response but what is the need of linking it to Hindutva Iran and talking about BJP leaders as the Ayatollah Okay, let's let's take this across back to Imran as well. He's been monitoring a lot of the reactions that have been coming in. Imran, any specific response coming from the BJP at this point in time, specifically to the link uh, that Karthi Chidambaram has drawn between what happened in Kolar and Hindutva? Well, BJP has slammed Karthi Chidambaram over his statement that uh, calling uh, the, this thing at uh, the Ayatollah of Hindutva and they string strong objection and said that uh, his ignorance is speaking here at, at the moment. That's what the BJP leaders have been reacting on this, saying that there's no co connection to that. He just asked her to follow cultural norms. There's nothing uh, uh, very objectionable in that. But he said that uh, his being, words are being twisted and uh, it is mis misinterpreted. It was the party is saying. Now, however, the video have, which has gone viral, there are so many comments on social media against the member of parliament many have especially those who who are anti bjp have commented very uh, strongly harshly against against the member of parliament the women international women's day this is the this is the behavior of a, mem a member of power, mp from bjp from kolar muniswami and the way he uh, showed his anger towards the woman is uh, is un it's okay uh, imran uh, stay with us uh, we're getting some more reactions uh, rahul ishwar uh, joins us for more on this uh, rahul ishwar first and foremost your thoughts on what mr muniswami did in kolar and secondly the reaction that's come from karthi chidambaram linking what happened to hindutva and trying to say that the ayatullahs of the bjp will convert india into a hindutva iran your response sir 
two points. It is wrong to yell at anyone for whatever reason, because we are a harsher harsher samskriti who believes in respecting women and treating them as goddesses. So, you know, it is wrong to yell whether it is BJP or Congress or CPM doesn't matter. But coming to the second point, which is... Okay, uh, Mr. Rahul Ishwar, we're having some trouble trying to, in fact, hear you. So we'll try to patch the audio and get in touch with you once again. Uh, let me go back to Imran. Imran, any reactions coming from the BJP? Have they actually said anything on record uh, to basically question this link that Mr. Karthi Chidambaram has drawn between Hindutva and what happened in Kolar with that extremely shocking comment made by Mr. Munuswami? Right. I'll come back to Imran in just a bit, but Mr. Ishwar is back with us once again. Yes, Mr. Ishwar, please complete your point, sir. Two submissions. One, it is wrong to yell at any woman for whatever reason, because our culture considers women as goddess and worthy of respect. So it is wrong to yell. But more importantly, Bindri is a part of our culture, our civilization. Iconography of Bharat Mata, Lakshmi, Sita, Parvati, every goddess has a Bindri. So Bindri is an inherent part of Indian culture. He could have humbly pointed it out rather than yelling. But a senior leader like Sri Chidambaram's son, Karthi Chidambaram, converting the whole drama, whole narrative into something saying like Hindu to Iran, is very unfortunate. We saw what happened in Iran. A woman was killed because her you know, particular hijab was slightly this way or that way. And there were huge protests in which 50 to 80 people were killed, according to UN report. Comparing India to Iran is obnoxious, is abhorrible and very condemnable. And India is a great pluralistic nation in the world. And comparing that to an Islamic republic, of Iran is very unfortunate, is playing to the gallery, is demeaning Hindu culture and Hindu civilization and by falsely equating. This comes from the playbook of Sri Rahul Gandhi where he says RSS is equal to Muslim Brotherhood. See, you may criticize RSS on one or two points, but comparing it to heartland an organization like Muslim Brotherhood, who even the Muslim community has many reservations, is very unfortunate. So, uh, Karthi Chidambaram is taking it too far. Okay, uh, Mr. Ishwar, just as a follow-up to that, how would you uh, respond to somebody who would say that Karthi Chidambaram's comment may not necessarily be completely misplaced because the man in question, Mr. Munuswami, was berating a Hindu woman for not wearing a bindi and asking whether or not her husband was still alive. So if he was responding to something that was rooted in our culture, in our religious tradition, is the comment completely misplaced, sir? What would you respond to somebody who would say that? Two, two points. One, what Munuswami did was not agreeable because you were yelling at a woman, you know, forcefully and disrespectfully speaking. Bindi is a great part of all culture, but we shouldn't impose anything on anyone. Bindi is naturally comes to our mothers, our sisters. They all wear Bindi with great pride. Even Prakashkara's wife, you know, uh, um, uh, ma'am also wears Bindi in such a um, uh, no, huge fashion. So it's a very good thing. Nobody is saying no. But at the same point of time, equating that incident to create a political narrative is unfortunate. Hmm. And at the same point of time, yelling at any woman is equally bad. Nobody is saying, you know, you yell at a woman. If there is something like that, he can point out. So we shouldn't cross the line. But creating a narrative and equating it with Iran is unfortunate. Please remember, girls were killed because their hijab was a bit displaced. So comparing India with Iran is absolutely horrible. Okay. Right. Many thanks uh, for that, uh, Mr. Rahul Ishwar. Let me go back once again uh, to Imran on this. Imran, the criticism against Mr. Chidambaram is that he's trying to draw an extreme example, an extreme analogy that does not fit the Indian context and specifically what happened in Kolar, that is injection of the term Hindutva in response to his criticism for what Mr. Munusami said has clear political motives. Well, absolutely. In fact, the BJP is strongly objected to the state and uh, uh, has been twisted. Even if it's said, it is uh, it is just a minister, uh, MP's remark. Uh, but it, there's nothing in comparison to Iran and India where people mm. enjoy freedom and liberty and they can choose to wear what they want. Now, this is what uh, the BJP's reaction is. Very strong, sharp reactions coming to Karthi Chidambaram's tweet there. Okay. Okay, many thanks for that, uh, Imran. We'll, of course, uh, await some more uh, updates with respect to the BJP's reactions to what Mr. Chidambaram said and whether or not they'll take any action against Mr. Munuswami, the member of parliament. We turn our attention now to